the second quarter and the third quarter of this year, uh, followed by uh, the path to our five-year aspirations to uh, uh, tell you about our long-term strategy as well as the um, um, development in each business unit of ours. So um, just to recap um, very quickly on the results, in the first half, we saw revenue rising about 26% year on year in the first half of this year. Um, and this was due primarily to a strong performance of both hotel and mixed use, as well as restaurant business of ours. Um, and this is also contributed to uh, full operations of Anantra Kihava in the Maldives and the St. Regis in Bangkok, together with the consolida consolidation of Oaks Hotels and Resorts, uh, the company that we acquired uh, last year in the middle of the year. Um, and if you look at the proportion of um, the revenue in the first half, hotel account for about 49% of total revenue, uh, followed by restaurants at about 41%, and the rest uh, is retail trading accounting for about 10%. In terms of EBITDA or, or profit, in the first half, we saw EBITDA rising 38% year on year, uh, again, as a result of the continued recovery of our hotel and restaurants. Uh, on, the, <clears throat> on the hotel side, we see a continued recovery of occupancy and also room rates. Uh, and also, we have the consolidation of Oaks uh, for the full uh, first half, and as well as new investment initiatives including St. Regis Residential, uh, including St. Regis Hotel in Anantra Kihava, uh, together with the, um, the sales of Anantra Vacation Club Poi-based timeshare. Um, and a bit of margin also expanded on the back of, you know, operating leverage of both uh, businesses of ours. In terms of net profit, it's improving along the same line. We saw net profit in the first half improving by 49% year on year as a result of the development in both businesses, main businesses of ours. Um, so it's, it's pretty much um, um, in line with the beta um, increase that I just showed you earlier. So now I'm gonna talk about the progress of uh, each businesses, what happened in the second quarter of this year and what already happened in the third quarter as we, as we speak now. Starting off with the hotel business, uh, we have invested in uh, luxury hotel in Phuket this uh, second, past second quarter. Uh, it, it is Bundarika Villa and Suites in Phuket. It's located on Layan Beach in Phuket. We, we acquired um, this properties uh, in the second quarter, um, as well as we opened two new managed hotels, uh, including Anantra Eastern Mangroves in Abu Dhabi and Anantra Uluwatu in Bali. Um, and in this quarter, we also closed one property, which is the Hua Hin Marriott Resort and Spa, as the lease of the land has expired. Um, lastly, for hotels in this quarter, we acquire uh, a, another 18 units of uh, inventory villas uh, in Bali for our point-based timeshare, Anantra Vacation Club. Uh, on top of this uh, inventories in Bali, we add another three units of inventory in Bangkok as well. In the third quarter of this year, in third quarter of this year, we also invested in uh, Oasis Resort Calundra through Oaks. Uh, so this is another property that will add on to our, our Oaks portfolio, the company that we acquired last year. Uh, and also uh, we open uh, in the third quarter of this year, Anantra Sanya, uh, the hotel in China, which expected to uh, open towards the end of the third quarter. quarter. In terms of restaurants, um, the development that we had in the second quarter, we opened first two equity-owned outlets of Swenson's in the Maldives, uh, in both domestic and international terminals of, of the Maldives airport. Uh, as for Thai Express, we uh, opened another three franchise outlets uh, of Thai Express in Korea. Uh, so bringing total number of the uh, Thai Express in Korea to about five outlets. Uh, and in the third quarter uh, of this year, uh, we opened the first flagship 
uh, coffee club in Bangkok uh, located on Egamayo Sukhumvit Road uh, in August uh, of this year, uh, as well as um, we opened another franchise outlet of coffee club in Egypt uh, in the third quarter as well. So those are development of our restaurants business. So moving on to uh, five-year aspirations, this is the same slide we show you before in the past. Uh, at the beginning of the year. We just want to reiterate our stance on a five-year plan. Our goal is to see our earnings growth uh, of about 15 to 20 percent per annum on average over the next five years. Uh, that's the first goal. And second goal is to uh, see our return on invested capital going higher than 15 percent over the next five years. There's a long list of tactical strategies to achieve these goals, but we sum it up into um, three high-level strategies. First, we try to develop our own intellectual property or, or our own brands to make it even more profitable going forward. We have Anantra Oaks Avani on the hotel side, and we have the pizza company Thai Express Coffee Club and Rips and Rums on the restaurant side. So we continue to push these brands. Secondly, we would try to uh, continue increasing the productivity of our businesses or our assets uh, by way of asset light, i.e. Uh, food franchising and hotel management contracts. That way, we don't have to invest a lot of capital, but we get higher margin, higher return, and high profitability. Uh, on top of that, we try to come up with some mixed-use initiatives. Uh, for example, residential or point-based timeshare, something that we can leverage off our existing hotel brands uh, and sell the product and services at a premium so we get higher return. So this will help us uh, propel our return to, uh, to uh, the targeted goal that we, uh, we, we set for our long-term plan. Lastly, we want to add onto our revenue and earnings base by uh, doing acquisitions <coughs> or strategic investments. So any uh, good targets or good, uh, good, good deals in the market, we, 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 we're looking at it, and then this will, will, will come as the opportunity present itself. So this slide is to show you our aspiration in terms of geographical diversification. We still maintain our aspiration to see our revenue uh, overseas contribution uh, going up from 25% currently to about 40% over the next five years. And in terms of profit, we will want to see overseas contribution to our profit rising from 15% currently to about more than half uh, over the next five years, or roughly about 51% by the year 2016. So that's, that's our five-year aspiration. So moving on to business by business, maybe start off with a hotel first. Um, on the hotel group, uh, our five-year growth driver is still the same as we've shown you previously. So we're continuing to drive our own brands, including Anantara, Oaks, and Avani, both through um, investment, uh, invested hotels as well as management contracts. And we continue to grow our um, other hotel brands in the portfolio as well. Those include Four Seasons, Marriott, and, and St. Regis. And in, the, in addition to just the hotel portfolio, we are continuing to expand our mixed-use businesses. Those include um, an Antara Vacation Club, um, which, we, which we launched in December of 2010, and also um, the residential um, property sales that we've launched um, for the past couple of years. Um, if you go into the um, financials, in terms of um, revenue, we've grown about 46% year on year for um, first half, EBITDA of 52%, and net profit of 56%, um, mainly from the better um, operations of the existing hotels, as well as our two new hotels, which we launched last year, Anantra Kihava and St. Regis um, in Bangkok, um, which reported losses. Um, last year started to um, have better profitability as well as bringing in top line for us as well um, in, in this year. And the consolidation of Oaks, which last year we only had one month consolidation um, compared to six months consolidation in 2012. And um, also sales of the Anantra Vacation Club, which um, starting to become um, a meaningful contribution for the, our real estate business um, in the first half of this year. And um, if you remember, in 
in second quarter of last year, we also had um, one-time revenue.